What up, what up, what up? It's the real Illinois back again with another video. Y'all do me a favor and like, share, subscribe, and turn on all post notifications and leave a comment. Well, you know, I never been a type that like really get on to somebody if they're in need. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell y'all a little story about myself, and then I'm going to show y'all where I'm going with this. Now, I done did a lot of things in my life. Some of them I'm not uh, proud of, and some of them I am. But I'm going to set the record straight right here on this channel. If I ever did anything to hurt you or cause you to cry or cause you to fall, I apologize because I'm a man before I'm anything. But you never know what happened to me that caused me to react like that, which is that's not an excuse, but I'm just laying the cards on the table. So forgive me. Please forgive me. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. But I gotta switch the um, subject real fast. <clears throat> I get up and go to work at. Put it like this: y'all sleep when I go to work. Y'all are sleep. Y'all just not getting into y'all deep sleep, probably. Depending on what time you. Stayed up watching the late, 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 late night movie or show. But you know what really trips me out about this world? It's a lot of jobs out here, right? A lot of jobs. There's no excuse for you to say you can't find a job. That means you're not looking. It's not going to fall out of the sky and say, here, come take me. They might give you hints and say now hiring. Some places don't because they don't want to have to deal with a whole bunch of people that they got to uh, decipher or that they got to go through to see who's going to be the, the perfect candidate for the job, which there is no perfect candidate for a job. But you know what I mean? So there's no excuse. So when I see a grown man asking for money early in the morning at a gas station. Now I ask myself, you know, maybe he ran out of gas, but you don't have no car or no gas can. Maybe he got kids, but I don't see the kids. Maybe, just maybe, he really wants something to eat. But I see you with a partner, like y'all hustling. Like y'all taking turns. They call it, I guess, panhandling. Let me give y'all a look. Let me drop a little something on y'all. <clears throat> there ain't nothing wrong with helping people out. But I don't understand in 2023 how people fix themselves to beg for money. And they're young. This these people wasn't these people were young. They wasn't in no wheelchair. They wasn't like on a cane. There wasn't nothing physically wrong with them from far as the eye could see. 
So what is your excuse? When is enough going to be enough? When is all these excuses going to stop and you just do something about yourself and you better yourself? You think I be wanting to get up early in the morning? You think and I see my family in the bed? You think I don't want to just stay in the bed? But it's 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 this dude, man. And this dude, he don't play no games. He don't got no understanding. He ain't trying to hear it. His name is Bill. And he got some family. He got some brothers and cousins and all that. That's why they call it Bills with a S on the end. And Bills, they don't play. They nationwide. All through the world. They make the world go around. They say people make the world go around. No. The bills do. I tell you why. Because if you don't pay no bills, you don't eat. If you don't eat, if well, let me rewind that. If you this what bills make you do. Because if you don't, this is what you're not gonna have. If you don't work, you don't eat. If you don't eat, you can't sleep. If you ain't sleeping, then you're creeping. Trying to figure out a way to scam somebody. Trying to figure out how to take somebody money. Then take what they worked so hard for. Now. I get it. Everybody can fall on hard times. But you got to pick yourself up. You got to. If you single, that's one thing. If you got kids, they dependent on you. You got a family, man. They dependent on you. It's okay to, to, to have fun, go kick it, spend a little money here, spend a little money there. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm addressing this to the, the right people, and they know who I'm talking to. I know what you say. Well, if they begging and ain't got no money, surely they ain't got no phone to even see this. Or no computer or no TV or nothing. That's where you're wrong at. Because there's programs for people that can't afford phones. People that can't afford food. People that can't afford shelter. So knock it off. Talk. Tell you what. You tell that to somebody that don't know no better. Because I do. There ain't no excuse, man. Like, if you think about it right. I just was driving, and I'm finna, I'm finna tell y'all something that motivates me every morning when I get up and go to work. I ride past, I ride past McDonald's. This is McDonald's in our 24 hours. I ride past McDonald's. I ride past, of course, the gas station, 7-Eleven, Starbucks, and the people are gyrating, moving around. They, 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 they the, the bustle and the hustle. I mean, that's that's what make you. Of a, a, a American citizen, man. That that's what make you grown. That's what make you a woman. That's what make you a man. Getting up, putting your, giving your all, putting your two cent in, putting your time in to make this world go round. That's what it's about. Nobody gonna feel sorry for you out here. Ain't gonna be no pity party. Yeah, you might get, some people might feel sorry for you for a little while, but then they ain't going to last. You got people that, like, you know when somebody tell you you can come stay with them until you get on your feet, is you going to ever get on your feet? You don't think they tired of seeing you? They can't even walk around, if they want to walk around naked, they can't even do it because you here, and they don't want to put you out because they trying to help you, but you taking kindness for a weakness. You understand? You're welcome, dude or girl. I know I'm talking to somebody right now, and you got enough money saved up. What you waiting on? You got enough money to say to uh, saved up. They can't go in the living room because you in the living room all the time. They don't want to be in their bedroom all the time. They can't get in the kitchen because you in the kitchen all the time. They want to get in the kitchen and cook sometimes. 
get to, you, you, you might have to use the bathroom. You got to wait. You about to do, no, you need to do number two. But you got to wait. And you know what? If I ruffle some feathers, if I piss somebody off, then I guess I did my job. 